Sure. If I could ask you first about what you saw on the market today, uh, very quiet? Very quiet. It seems as though investors find very little to a uh, reason to buy on the market at the moment and that was really reflected in the volumes. We only saw $3.9 billion worth of stock being traded, making it the most quiet day of the week so far and the market down by 0.3%. We're actually off to a pretty good start this morning, helped along by mining and banking stocks, but we saw the banks give way first and tumble into the red and then we saw the miners giving way. In fact, in the end, we only saw the staples and the healthcare sectors finishing in the black. So once again, those defensive in favour, although Telstra missing out with some of the heaviest uh, gains of the day in terms of sector performance. We did see those miners in focus. We saw Twiggy coming out uh, and saying that the whole Eurozone debt crisis is a bit of a media beat-up. Fortescue doing well in the morning, a bit of a bounce back of about 1.5%, but after the China uh, HSBC flash PMI numbers were released, we saw the stock reversing, and the stock actually down by 1.8% by the end of the session. Also some financing helping along BHP and Origin shares. BHP's managed to secure $2.9 billion in Eurobond, so that stock was up by 0.2% by the end of the session. And Origin managing to secure $8.4 billion in project financing, so that stock up by 0.2%. 0.7%, but all up, I guess, little activity on the market, little reason to buy, and that was really reflected in the numbers today. About Europe in particular, because it seemed yet again it was all talk, no action. It's being dubbed the uh, summit of nothingness at the moment, so I guess the market's now looking towards that June uh, summit. Um, but altogether, no decisions on what the market was looking for clarity around, and that's around bank guarantees uh, of deposits in Europe as well as the possibility of euro bonds. So no decisions made around that, but it does look like project bonds will be piloted. They're looking at 230 million euros to start off with, and that will come to an end in 2013. So that's, uh, that's hopefully going to encourage some sort of private investment as well and should be guaranteed by the EU budget um EU, uh, EU budget. So altogether, I think the market just uh, hoping for a bit more but not expecting too much and we didn't see too much come out of that. So really now looking towards those Greece elections. Altogether, I agree that the market looks cheap based on a historical basis but I guess it's this uncertainty which is causing buyers to, uh, to stay on the sidelines at the moment. And uh, just looking at China uh, on this as well, where do you sit? Because uh, as Michael said, I mean there has been a lot out of China this week including what seems to have been for gotten the, the Premier's comments earlier this week. Freddie, these numbers were important because there's a view in the market that we have seen, uh, I guess, China's growth bottoming out in the first quarter and that things would improve from here on in. In April, those flash PMI numbers were actually the highest read for 2012 so far. But of course, then we got the trade numbers, we got the industrial production numbers that were very soft in April. In fact, industrial production numbers back at single digit growth. And these April numbers just confirming that uh, it doesn't, it, there, there is a larger probability that perhaps we haven't seen growth bottoming out. So not surprising to see China coming out to focus on growth strategies but of course what China doesn't want to do is reinflate this poverty bubble that they've worked so hard to deflate. So I guess in terms of stimulus it's all about um, making sure there's no misallocation of capital and probably what we'll see is stimulus in terms of infrastructure spend and we know that takes a, a bit of time to flow through. I mean during the global financial crisis one of the reasons we probably didn't see the government uh, spending more on infrastructure and rather handed out funds was because because that flows through to the economy economy much more quickly. But these May numbers, we did see a slowdown. That was expected. The seventh consecutive month of contractions, but there had been hopes that because April had been the highest read so far for 2012, that we would start to see that manufacturing sector in China move back towards expansion. We, of course, get the official PMI numbers next week. They're going to be very closely watched. But all up, it does look like China still up in the air at the moment. The market's still watching to see what type of stimulus, and more importantly, the size of the stimulus. We saw massive stimulus during the global financial crisis and not a lot of people think we're going to see stimulus of that size this time around.